What's up my viewers and subscribers? What's up? What's up? How are you guys doing? Welcome back to another video my peeps, all right? So we have a couple of stories to talk about in this one my viewers and subscribers Actually out doing some driving and decided that I'm going to be reasoning with my peeps Yes, man um, Big story coming out of Jamaica Talawas camp um, Leg spinner Sandeep Lamashani He has been summoned by his home country in Nepal to come home because apparently somebody went to the police station and made a report so we're going to talk about that plus I was reading an article with an interview that was done by Sheffield Rutherford and Rutherford has a lot of big plans going into the CPL um, well we're actually into the CPL now so there are a lot of plans that um, Rutherford has set and personally I want him to achieve them because in him achieving those plans they will definitely um, probably put the selectors under a little bit more pressure to look at him so um, we're going to talk about all of that my peeps so just make sure you watch the video to the end and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet you hear the amount of time I tell you if you subscribe my peeps alright so um, the, the, the spinner there Lamashani he hasn't played any game as yet for the Jamaica Talawas so far this season I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly Lamashani right so we have played what three games so far and he's yet to feature but it's not his first rodeo in the CPL and he has played into in top leagues around the world talking about the IPL talking about Big Bash League and things like that you understand and you know he's expected to feature at some point in time well he was expected to feature at some point in time throughout the tournament but um, the Jamaica Talawas are, you know they have actually announced I think it was last night that he has less left the CPL with immediate effect to return home as there was a report lodged at a police station in his home country of Nepal you know we're According to the reports coming out, it is said that he coerced someone into doing something. I don't know what it is that he coerced someone into doing. Doing, and we know that when you say that you coerce someone, it simply means that either by force or or by threat, you would have gotten someone to do a particular thing. You understand? So it's either you are encouraging them to do it by force or by threat. So that is the that is the main information coming out now that he has coerced someone into doing something and um you know that that person would have made a report so we don't know what it is we don't want to make any sort of speculation to go throw any rumors out there um Lamashani has spoken about it he took to social media and he posted that um he tweeted that he has decided to take a leave of up leave of absence from the CPL and he's returning to his home country and you know he respect the laws of his country so he's going there and he knows that the law will bring forward justice and will bring forward the truth because these allegation, allegations that are brought against him are baseless right they are baseless and he's and he believes in the law and know that the law will um do the right thing and you know he was also saying that he's prepared for the baseless um, criticism that he will be getting over the next couple of couple of um, days. You understand? As I said, my peeps, he's probably the most known or most established cricketer coming out of his country, having played. Um, I think he's also the captain of their cricket team, having played a couple of games in the IPL and in the Big Bash League, and he has been he has played in the in the CPL before, so. You know it's definitely definitely not a good look as you know people can see or do anything you understand to can go to the station and say anything about you it's just that they have to prove it but you know it's never good when you hear your name start getting called up in things that are are, are not um of, of any good so that is the breaking news coming out of the cpl and the jamaica talawas camp my peeps that um their spinner lamashani has returned home 
as he's there to answer some questions. The law, the, the police officers sent for him, said that there, they need to speak with him. So he has returned home. You know, so we do, as I said, we don't know exactly what the situation is. So we're going to be keeping a close um, eye on things to hear exactly how things will turn out. So yeah, that is it for that one, my peeps. Now, Shefane Rutherford, the very talented middle order batsman from um, Guyana. As we know, he hasn't represented West Indies in some time. And, you know, we're definitely hoping that he would be, be, be in the running right now. You know, but um, according to the information that we got going into the CPL, he was asked to do a fitness test and he did not do so well on that. So we're not too sure with the World Cup coming up, you know, definitely he's probably going to be looking to try and perform well um, so that he can get a look in. I mean, they have played a couple of games already. We haven't really seen much from him. So, you know, it's probably going to be trying to do well in the next um, couple of games. So I was taking a look at an interview that he did um, leading into the C leading up to the CPL. Actually, the first time I am seeing this interview was done maybe a day or so before the CPL started. And, you know, he was speaking and he was saying that the aggression that he showed in the 60 he's definitely looking to take that aggression into the cpl and he's looking to perform to the best of his ability he's looking to win he backs himself to win you know as you would probably would would remember they won the um the, the cpl last time around um the st kitts and Navy's patriots he played a very important role or a very important part in that made some runs so according to him, he's definitely looking to bring the same sort of aggression. He's looking to perform. And even though this interview was done before the CPL started, my peeps, my reason for really coming forward with this is because I want to talk about a couple of players that um, probably they are not in the selector's mind where their fitness is concerned and their performance. But um, I am just going to look at a couple of them and I am just going to be asking you guys what are your thoughts if these players perform extremely well throughout the, the, the rest of the CPL. Rutherford is one of them, goes without saying. What if it is the case that we have Rutherford um, putting in some brilliant performance leading up to the end of the CPL? How, how, will the, how will the selectors work that out? Same thing for O'Shane Thomas. We hear that he's not fit. I saw, well, we, 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 we would have seen that he's not fit. I saw him in the match last night was bowling with some very very good pace the game that they played the other night he we saw him um basically hitting um hitting some some not too pacey maybe 138 139 and he was easily bowling 150s at one point in time maybe three years ago so he's definitely not in shape still bowling a lot of wide balls so i'm just questioning my peeps do we give O'Shane and rutherford and these guys a look in if they are obviously not match fit but putting out numbers because one would say that you need to be match fit to put out good numbers but if these guys are picking up wickets and are making runs do we pay them give them in the light of day or do we not need them especially someone like a, um, a O'Shane Thomas if he's not fit do we give him a look in I mean Alzari Joseph is cranking up the pace he's um taking wickets obed maka is pretty expensive doing his thing though odin smith is still there so do we have any time for ocean thomas that is what happened the last world cup you know the last world cup we figured that he was not fit but he took um he was bowling quite quick so they guess that they i guess they thought it would have been a good idea to take him to the world cup and you know it, it didn't work out so do we look do we look at him seeing that he's, he's not bowling that quickly but he's taking one and two wickets do we look at him or what you already know what my answer is as it relates to to to, to this guy but i am just throwing it out there i saw him in the game um the other night he wasn't bowling with a, with a lot of control and i think that it's because of his fitness why he was unable to really bowl with a lot of control so i am just throwing the question out there we don't have any cpl today so you guys probably have a little time on your hand where you can go ahead and type in the comment section and let me know um do we give these so-called unfit players a chance if they are scoring runs and taking wickets i am asking the question again because um the squads are going to be coming out pretty soon maybe by the the, the the end of next week i am thinking we are probably going to be hearing that squad so just let me know what you think my peeps in the comment section zane big up on yourself